Namaskar students we are continuing with exercise 7.6 of the chapter fraction and today we are going to solve question number 7 question number 7 says Nandini's house is 9 by 10 km from her school she walked some distance and then took a bus for 1 by 2 km to reach the school how far did she walk so here in this question it says the distance between her house and her school is 9 by 10 so first of all you will write the statement total distance between nandini's house and school is equal to 9 by 10 km then the question says that she has walked some distance and then she took a bus for half kilometer so you will write distance covered by bus is equal to 1 by 2 km now we have to find how far did she walk means that the distance which is covered by nandini by walking now the total distance was 9 by 10 and out of 9 by 10 1 by 2 has been covered by bus so rest of the distance is covered by walking so if we take the difference between this two fraction we'll get the distance covered by walking so you will write therefore distance covered by walking is equal to 9 by 10 minus 1 by 2 now we have to find the difference between this two fraction so first of all we will take the lcm of 10 and 2 so lcm of 10 and 2 it's 10 so here in the denominator we will write 10 now 10 ones are 10 so we have to multiply 9 with 1 then minus now here in the second fraction we are having 2 in the denominator and we know 2 fives are 10 so here in the numerator we have to multiply with 5 so we will write 1 into 5 so on multiplying we will get 9 minus 5 by 10 which is equal to 4 by 10 now we can reduce it by dividing by 2 that is 2 to the 4 and 2 fives are 10 so the answer will be 2 by 5 km now let us do the next question that is question number 8 Question number eight says Asha and Samuel have bookshelves of the same size, partly filled with books. Asha's shelf is five by six full, and Samuel's shelf is two by fifth full. Whose bookshelf is more full? By what fraction? So here first we'll write the statement. Fraction of Asha's bookshelf filled with books is equal to five by six, and fraction of samuel's bookshelf is equal to 2 by 5 now we have to find that whose bookshelf is more full so here we have to compare the fraction of asha's bookshelf and samuel's bookshelf that is you will write on comparing 5 by 6 and 2 by 5 now you see here in both these fractions numerator and denominator are different so we are going to compare it by doing cross multiplication so here we will multiply the numerator of the first fraction with the denominator of the second and numerator of the second fraction with the denominator of the first so we will write here 5 into 5 and on this side it will be 2 into 6 now 5 fives are 25 and 2 sixes are 12 so which one is greater 25 or 12 25 is greater and this side we are having 5 by 6 so we have got 5 by 6 is greater than 2 by 5 and 5 by 6 is asha's book self so therefore we will write asha's book self is more full now the question is also asking by what fraction means asha's bookshelf is more full than 
Samuel by what fraction? So here we have to find the difference between both the fraction. Now you will write difference is equal to 5 by 6 that is Asa's book self minus 2 by 5 that is Samuel. Now we have to do the subtraction. So first we will take the LCM of 6 and 5 which is equal to 30. So in denominator we will write 30 and 6. 5s are 30. So we have to multiply the numerator that is 5 with 5 minus here we are having 5 and we know 5 6 are 30. So here in the numerator we will multiply 6. So we will write 2 into 6. Now 5 5s are 25 and 2 6 are 12. So we have got 25 minus 12 by 30. 25 minus 12 is equal to 13. So it will be 13 by 30. So we, so we will write Asa's book self is more full by 13 by 30. And this will be the answer. Now student I am stopping here and you are going to do question number 2, 3, 4 and 6 to 9 of exercise 7.6 in your maths notebook. Till then, thank you. Namashivai.